very first troubleshooting step for pretty much every Pro Tools problem is trashing preferences. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I'm on Windows, so obviously I can't show you how to trash preferences on Mac. So for that, just look in the description and all the exact file locations will be listed below in the description. Also, if you have Pro Tools 10 and lower, you have to trash your databases and preferences. So it's a little bit different. Again, instructions for that will be listed below. I'm on Windows 10. This will be similar for any Windows install. Again, if you have Pro Tools 11 or 12, so let's go ahead and get started. So we'll just assume we're having some sort of trouble in Pro Tools. This is your first troubleshooting step, pretty much always, right? So the first thing we do is close Pro Tools because we can't have Pro Tools open. We're going to delete the preferences. So close it down. Now that Pro Tools is closed down, we need to go to our C drive. So here's our C drive. Then we'll go to users. From there, we'll go to our user name, whatever your name you happen to have. And then from there, we have to go to app data. Now, you will not see this folder unless you have show hidden folder. So you go here to view. If you don't have your ribbon out, you can just pop your ribbon out real easily. There we'll go to view and just check hidden items. Now we'll show the hidden items. We'll come here to app data. You can see the string here. It's this PC, C, users, my username, app data. And from there, we'll go to roaming. And from there, we go to avid and from there, Go to Pro Tools. Now we can delete this entire folder, or you can pop into the folder and just delete the contents. Really up to you. But you can pop in here and just see the files that are stored in here. But all you really need to do is choose that file. Okay, so this is the path. See users, your username, app data, roaming, avid, and then delete the Pro Tools folder. So I'm just hit delete. There we go. Now we have trashed preferences in Pro Tools. Almost. We need to pop in here and empty the recycle bin. There we go. Now, it may actually be a good idea to restart your computer as well, but that's up to you. So now we'll go ahead and relaunch Pro Tools. Now this startup might take a while since the preferences files are gone. Now that's going to have to be rewritten, okay, recreated. So this launch might take a little longer than normal. And now Pro Tools has launched, I'll just come here to create and name the session new one. Now, you'll notice some things that the location I'm saving my session to is no longer to my secondary hard drive. That's because that's one of my preferences. So that's something I'll have to change. So just keep in mind, whenever you change your preferences, there's going to be a lot of little things you're going to have to uh, you know, switch around to get back. All right, so I'll put that back there. Now my sample rate, I usually put on 48 since I do a lot of video. I'm going to go to create here and then I want to show you something here real quick. So you can see how all the mix and edit windows are set up set up in the default way, which is not at all how I always have them set up. So that's another thing you're going to lose whenever you trash your preferences. Uh, my transport, I always like everything, uh, pretty much everything, except for the synchronization. Same for the window up here, many controls. You also notice it didn't create a click track automatically. I always have it set up to create a click track. So that's another thing we'll have to change. Go to preferences and we'll set that back up. And let me go ahead and create some tracks here. All right, over here, mix window, and you'll see that you know everything's gray. Now I always have my tracks colored. So again, that's another thing you're going to have to change whenever you trash your preferences. You're going to lose your color, so you'll have to recolor your tracks there. But trashing preferences from time to time does uh, resolve a lot of issues. At least it can resolve a lot of issues in Pro Tools. So. That's the number one step. Oh, you know what? Another thing I have to do, make my meters nice and wide. All right, now I'm pretty much set up. I'd have to go through preferences a little more to see. So if you're having trouble in Pro Tools, go try that out right now. And keep in mind, you'll have to reset things like track color, exactly where your mix and edit window are, things like that. 